Hey everybody, this is Kai, your anti gamer, and this is how to, you know, get a virtual PC on your computer. Um, let me let you know right now, this is Windows XP. Um, if you remember from my previous video, I just skinned my XP to look like Windows 7 Vista or whatever the hell it is. I think it's a crossbreed of both, personally. So this is actually Windows XP I'm running on right now. Um, the funny thing is, um, in this video, I'm going to give you a program, which I will list below. I already have it already down here in the corner, set up from the previous video, because I did one take of this already. Because um, it took me too long just to find that fucker. Um, <clears throat> but um, the program is meant for Windows 7. And why it works on Windows XP is beyond me. I don't know. I guess I have godlike powers, because... A night or two ago, I think it actually was last night, I um, downloaded this program. It said I did not have the required operating system, but it installed anyway. I'm like, okay, well, all right, well, let me try opening it up. I've already downloaded um, one of the VHDs. Oh, by the way, let me let you know what a VHD is. A VHD is a virtual hard drive, and it's basically the operating system you're going to be emulating. Yeah, can't talk today. And, um... Yeah, sometimes they'll crash, let me just tell you. But let me tell you what the program is called. It is called Microsoft Virtual PC. I'm going to tell you, I did not download this directly off the Microsoft website. I don't really like going to sites I don't trust, but I went to a soft Softopedia. And let me go back one page, because this is what it's going to look like. What you're going to do is click that download button right about here. I would do this right on my screen, but I'm too lazy today. Just click that. It'll bring you to this page. And you'll get six different mirrors. What you want to do is go to number six, because that just gives you the EXE. You want Virtual PC 2007, which is what I already have right now. Um, it'll download an EXE file, just run it. So, I, I'm running Windows XP right now, and just to prove it to you, I will do a little run thing. And operating system. Here's your proof. Windows XP Home Edition. All right. Just to prove for any idiots who may post something stupid, even though nobody really comments on these videos anymore. But um, here we go. So just click it. It'll come up with this. If you're using Firefox, just a little, you know, exe. Whoop. Just save the file and then install. After you have installed. Um, what you want to look for is VHDs. Um, I will give you a link to two of them. I'm going to give you a link to Windows 98 and Windows 95 um, VHDs. So here we go. I just googled Windows 95 VHD download. Oh, that's the wrong link. Um, this you could emulate other other systems um, earlier than that, like Windows ME, Windows 2000, Windows Vista, and XP as well, of course. Um, if you're already using Windows 7 and you want to do it, um, I'll give you the links later. Um, basically, what they're going to do, it's going to take roughly 15 minutes to a half hour. No, actually, it's going to be like 15 minutes to an to two hours it'll take depending on which one you download anything beyond Windows 98 is going to take more than 15 minutes depending on your internet access um, sometimes I go to this website um, these I'm going to tell you they take a good chunk of space so make sure you just make sure you have room they take at least two or more gigs of space for these things just these alone as in the VHDs um, let's just say you got those all downloaded. Let's do a little demonstration 
turn up my sound a bit on my computer. Open virtual PC. This is what it's going to do. Hold on. It actually came up on my other screen. As you can see, I got 95, 98, and ME. I don't have 90. I don't, I don't have an ME working properly yet. But I am working on it. But let's just start off with Windows 95. I automatically have it go into full screen. Oh, all right. It's checking my drivers now. Windows 95. You know, I don't think I've ever used Windows 95 until recently. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Blue screen to death. Any key to continue. See, so sometimes it'll crash. But trust me, on the second time around, it'll work. Uh, let's restart. I always do it in safe mode because I'm too lazy to go through all the bullshit I normally do. Here we go. And I actually have the internet working in this. It's funny, when you try to go to download stuff, oh, I guess I don't have it set up in safe mode, but um, when you try to go to download stuff, it's kind of funny because it goes, lol, your computer is out of date. <laughs> okay, let's get off this. Shut down. Don't worry, if you go to shut down, it won't shut down your computer. It'll just shut down the virtual PC. Let's do Windows 98. It's It runs better. <laughs> Here we go, same old screen. This video is getting pretty long. Hopefully it works. Ugh. That's what I thought. It's not working properly. Shut up. Piece of crap. Sometimes I'll screw... As I was saying, sometimes they'll screw up the video quality because of your graphics card and shit like that. And for some odd reason, when I point up about this far, it'll just, you know. Let's set it about there. Apply. Let's reset. Yes. Now, I guarantee you the next time it turns on, it will be perfectly fine. Watch this. Since I'm doing a video, it's just going to fuck over. <laughs> there we go. Perfectly normal now. One bad dude. Now we're already fully loaded. Watch this. Let's go to Internet Explorer. It won't even load Flash shit properly. I don't think Flash even existed. No, it did in 98. I'm not sure what's going on then. Um, let's go to Firefox. Try and download it. What's this? We're going to try and download it. And look what it says. We're sorry to report this, but your computer does not meet the minimum system requirements to run this version of Firefox. Isn't that funny? Pretty much it's a big fuck you in the face saying your computer's out of date. But seriously, I'm not sure who would want to do Windows 98 or 95. Um, I tried getting Linux working. I couldn't find a working version of a VHD. So if anybody has one of those and happens to come across this video, just simply PM me a download link. I'm also looking for a Mac operating system. I'm not sure if those even exist, although I did try looking briefly last night. And I attempted to get um, Windows 2000 several times, but I haven't really gotten it to work so far. Um... 
yeah. So something pretty neat. If you ever want to, you know, mess around with um different emulated systems. Like I said, if you're on Windows 7, this shouldn't be a problem or anything. But as for me being on XP, I just thought it was funny as hell. And I'm sorry for how long this video is. Um, for those who are still watching this video, I'm just going to let you know um, that um, if you keep responding to my um, how to get into the World of Warcraft private server and you happen to watch my other videos, um... I'm sorry I don't reply to your videos. I just don't have the time to do such things anymore. I mean, video comments and all that crap. That's too many of them. I can't respond to them all. So I'm just not going to bother with them. And on a side note for you guys, I play World of Warcraft once more. And if you want to hook up with me, I play on Feathermoon on Retail WoW. And my highest level is level 60, and I'm on Alliance. And it, yes, it's an RP server, but nobody really RPs. It's all, all you know, bullshit. Now, this is Kai Uranta Gamer, and that's all the time I have for this how-to video. Even though it took, uh, like, 12 minutes of your life away. But, uh, yeah. Good luck. If you have any problems, just let me know. Well, don't let me know. Figure it out for yourselves. Because if I could do it just out of the blue, even though it's a Windows 7 operating thing, you certainly can do it. Um, yeah. If you're a Windows 7 or Vista user, I'm not sure how it's going to work. So, and ahead of time, spare me the trouble. I don't know what's wrong if it's Windows 7 or Vista. Stick, it, stick to XP. Maybe I'll be able to help you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Goodbye.